Welcome to Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, where listeners like you discuss problems, also known as Spider-Man, with me, J. Jonah Jameson. I understand we have a low-information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spider-Man. What's your name, caller? Uh, Pete, uh, Ben. Ben Riley. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful since Spider-Man arrived. Well, Ben, let me set the record straight. Did crime exist before Spider-Man? Of course it did. But we're talking about two-bit thugs. Suddenly, Spider-Man appears, and every copycat in town thinks it's fair game to don a crazy suit and destroy public property. And I'm not just talking about one or two. This whole city is full of these nutcases. First, it's Electro. The next thing you know, we have a guy calling himself the Vulture flying around. Oh. And don't forget what's his name in the rhino suit. The, the, the rhino? Yeah, that's the guy. You know, Wilson Fisk may have had his detractors, but at least he helped keep some order. Who knows who else is roaming the streets these days? Okay, but doesn't it seem like Spider-Man is helping the police? I thought I read in the Daily Bugle that he and Police Chief Yuri Watanabe were on good terms. And that's the problem. Everyone Spider-Man associates with finds themselves in the line of fire. It's impossible for his worlds not to collide at some point. Look, Ben, was it? I get that Spider-Man thinks he needs allies, but what he really needs is to let the police do their job and to let the fine people of Sable International take over when they can't. Silver Sable's private army? Uh, I mean, are they even the good guys? Is Spider-Man? My point is, this city needs fine, upstanding citizens. Not costume freaks like Spider-Man! And that's the last word for me, J. Jonah James.